And for the first time ever, defenseman Paul Coffey in uniform for the Pittsburgh Penguins against his former team, the Edmonton Oilers. He was traded to Pittsburgh back on November 24th. Paul Coffey, our guest in tonight's first intermission. And Paul, how did you feel maybe 15, 30 minutes before tonight's opening face-off about this first meeting against the Edmonton Oilers? Well, it's a little strange, there's no doubt about that. I think, uh, you know, I was very fortunate to spend seven good years in, a, in Edmonton. You know, I really appreciate the time I had there. And I think any time you have to face your old teammates, it's a little tough. Does it change after a couple of shifts, though, you get into the rhythm of the hockey game and forget about them being old friends? Well, you definitely do. I mean, you know, you have to look at it professionally. That That's two points for our hockey club, and, you know, we need the points. You had a great first period of goal and one assist. That goal, you you seem to get all of it and then some against Grand Fear. Tell us uh, about the connection with the puck. Well, I just come out of the penalty box and, you know, had a had a one-on-one with one of their guys back, and... You know, I just decided to shoot it, and, you know, I think any time you can beat a goalie as, as good as Grant Fear, you're lucky, and, you know, I was lucky to beat him. There's no question the Penguins are a much more successful hockey team when you're in the lineup. Fifteen games you've dressed for Pittsburgh so far. They've won 11 and, and tied one. You've also won four in a row. Can you explain the factors behind the Penguins' recent success? They've been important wins all coming on the road. Well, we've been playing well. You know, it's just by coincidence that I've been in the lineup. It's definitely not just because I've been playing. I think that, you know, we played the road games there. We had 20 guys playing a strong hockey game, and for our hockey club to win, we're going to have to have 20 guys working, and, you know, tonight's no different. After seven years in Edmonton, it's got to be quite a change to come to Pittsburgh, to, to come to the Penguins. Do you feel you've uh, completed the transition yet on and off the ice? Well, it's tough. There's no doubt about that. You know, you hear a lot of things. You know, I heard something today that... The Oilers, what their offer was, four hundred, an average of four hundred fifty thousand dollars over six years, and, and that's completely wrong. If the Oilers had offered me that kind of money, I would have been there in a minute. So I just like to clear that up for the people back in Edmonton. But you know, it's definitely hard to do a change. It takes time, but I'm getting adjusted to it. Okay, let's uh, talk about what's happened in this hockey game so far. The momentum shifting back and forth. It's kind of a strange outing. Well, it was going to be a weird game. There's no doubt about that. Uh, the Oilers have a couple guys on their team that played in Pittsburgh and there's myself and Dave that played in Edmonton for a number of years so it's in the others are as of late having a, a little bit of a tough time losing some hockey games so you just don't know what to expect out there. Paul I know there's a lot of your friends back at Edmonton watching this game on television people like Wayne Gretzky and they wish you all the best to, in Pittsburgh with the Penguins. Alrighty I'd like to wish Wayne all the best with his wedding too I think it's fantastic. Okay Paul thanks very much nice to see you again. Okay thanks. Our guest from the Pittsburgh Penguins defenseman Paul Coffey coming up next a special feature report on Dave Hannon.